שלום, 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 פרנס, פרום הולנד, פרום נדרלנד. I guess some of you already knows me. My name is Daniel Brown, and uh, I'm the head of L'Chaim to Life organization that took themselves in the vision to help Holocaust survivors seven years ago. But before I start, I want to thank all of you, the one that already supporting us for so long and make this project possible to go thanks to you. Without your help, we will never be able to do so. So you are a great partner and we feel that you're walking with us all the way, shoulder to shoulder. But I want to give special thanks, first of all, to Timmy Coleman, the head of Shoresh that's been in Israel for several years, that he's almost my right hand in this work and doing fantastic work here in Israel. We're very honored to have him. His patience, his kindness, his sensitivity, it's something that make it very great example. Also, I want to thank very much to the Shoresh organization that also supporting us for several years and do fantastic work. And the Dutch people in general show a great deal of heart to supporting L'Chaim to life. I would like to take this opportunity and say a few words about why we are exist. As I say many times, many years ago, I got the vision in my heart that we are in the time that very important in the history of the Jewish people and the world. Before the Messiah will come, before the redemption will come in, we need to prepare the road. And to me means to change our heart, to teach the young generation the word of God through actives, for showing goodwill, for showing how we can connect our young heart to the old generation. And I couldn't find any better activity that helping Holocaust survivors, all people that have been suffered terribly 70 years ago and a little bit more than that, by the Nazis, and the leftover of the people that suffered, still suffering today out of loneliness. So this project, not only to help them, but it's also to show that the young generation to be connected to the old generation. That's the key of the project. So we can help, we can connect young heart with the old heart. As Malachi said in the prophecies, Malachi said that it will be a time that God will send Elijah to repent the heart of the youngest with the oldest. That's what we're doing. But not only that, the fact that people from all over the world, Christian, Jews, just regular Gentile, from Norway, from the Netherlands, from US, from China, from Singapore and other countries, from Finland, Sweden, can join us in such a project like that. That's the key for the redemption. We are showing a great unity here. This project has now been for almost seven years. Not so long ago, it was a radio show here that I was able to speak and tell a little bit more about the project. And the impact and the result of the radio show was fantastic. Many more Israelis and Jews here in, in the land of Israel felt something very great spirit coming out of this project and decided to join us and to adopt Holocaust survivor no matter where they are. South part of Israel, north part of Israel and other places. The volunteer movement is developing. And I know we always speaking about redemption, all of us. We're expecting the Messiah, but I say it's one thing we should do what the Bible calling us to do, what God asking us to do, raise up our kindness, charity, and judging. Judging means that every person should judge themselves and to see how can I get out of the regular system of the materialism? How can I serve my God better from the place I am? How can I raise up my human side, the God image of me that gave me? That's our job in these days. Since we started seven years ago, we have many more schools and pre-military academies and other volunteers that join us and show great deal of goodwill. I'm calling you people. It's a very, very good project. It's a hard project. Come from the heart. I'm calling you to keep joining us. Keep doing the good work and join us and be unity with Israel. Just pray today it's not enough. We, call, we be called to act. I don't see any better things to do but 
helping Holocaust survivors, which is still leave us a great big cloud, we're all responsible to make some justice with these people. And I want to thank again to all the people from Shoresh and to all the people from Holland that are doing fantastic work and showing a great example of a friendship. That's friendship is all about. Todaraba and God bless you from Daniel, Israel.